Good afternoon and welcome to another moment of faith. We're so excited to be able to be a part of this today. Uh, excited for the opportunity. We want to thank Brother Joe to allowing us uh, to take part in this great ministry that he has. And our prayer is that it will be a blessing to you today uh, to encourage you in the word of the Lord. And uh, so thankful we had the opportunity uh, to be a part as well, to be able to be a part of the recording of the earlier uh, episodes that was playing. Uh, what a powerful, powerful episode that it was that we uh, continued on that interview that Brother Joe had with Brother Brady. And he just, uh, just amazing how God triumphs over tragedies in our lives. But we're thankful that uh, this man is able to continue on for the Lord and, and hasn't given up on God. And, and we're praying that that was such a blessing. Brother Joe wanted that to continue on. And uh, we'll just keep on praising on for the Lord Jesus Christ. And it seems like these days that we're living in is it just against all odds, uh, the Christian life is continuing on. Uh, we don't have, it seems like, the winning side, but we are on the winning side. And I'm excited that Jesus Christ is already a winner, and I'm a winner whenever I've trusted Jesus Christ as a, my Savior. And we are fighting from a winning side, a winning standpoint. We're fighting from victory. But against all odds, and I began to read through the book of Judges, and God began to open some things up to me, and I just want to share a few things with you. And in, in Judges chapter number 3, verse number 31, the Bible says this, And after him, Ehud, as he's talking about, was Shamgar, the son of Anath, which slew of the Philistines 600 men with an ox goad. And he also delivered Israel. And you begin to think about these verses, and boy, it doesn't seem like with 600 against one, the odds are definitely against Shamgar. And then I'm sure the Philistines had plenty of swords, and they had shields, and they had weapons of, uh, of, of mass destruction for uh, their time. But yet here, he just has a ox goad, Shamgar does. And as we look at that, we begin to say, well, how is it that God was able to come against? Well, number one, he's, number, he's God. Uh, he's able to overcome all things and gave the power to Shamgar to be able to do that. But it's absolutely amazing to me that this man was able to overcome even when all the odds were against him. And boy, we may feel like the odds are against us today. But if God be for us, who can be against us? I begin to think about this and we think, well, what about what's going on in our life with, with this? Well, number one, we think about this. We have warriors to wrangle. There is there's things in our life and warriors come against us. And the number one is the enemy, devil, himself that comes against us. First Peter tells us, be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom he may desire. I love the fact that the Bible tells us that is as a roaring lion, because he's a liar to us. He is lying, and John 8 tells us that the, he's the father of lies. And he's also an imposter, and there's nothing that uh, he has that, that he can bring upon his own. He's always trying to be the imposter of what, uh, trying to put something else in front of us. And boy, there's warfare that we have, and those warriors that are coming against us, uh, we continue to go against that. He's, he's uh, also an impressor for us. He is pressing against the people of God all the time, trying to keep us down. But thank be to God that he is the one. Jesus Christ is the one that encourages us and continues to give us strength and hope and encouragement. And I'm thankful that those warriors that we wrangle, we don't have to wrangle them by ourselves. Those warriors that we wrangle are uh, with the help of Jesus Christ, with the help of the Holy Spirit of God, with the help of God himself as he gives us strength to go on and warriors, uh, those wrangling those warriors. But then also we have a warfare to wage. And our warfare is not against flesh and blood. Our warfare is not against uh, my brothers and sisters in Christ. Uh, my warfare is not even against people that uh, are continuing to go against us. It is a spiritual warfare that we need to take a stand against and take a stand for Jesus Christ and take a stand. As a matter of fact, the Bible tells us in 2 Corinthians that our weapons of warfare are not carnal but mighty through God. To the pot pulling down of strongholds. That, that amazes me that uh, it's the power of God that we're able to get these uh, strongholds taken down. It's not anything that I can do within myself, but it's all because of what he can do and what he has done through us. 
As a matter of fact, we're challenged to be able to do this. We're able to say, I, I want to wage a good warfare. Paul told Timothy, I want you to go out and wage a good warfare. I want you to, to fight the battle. I want you to continue on and press on for the Lord. And here, Shemgard, he had this, he had this uh, oppression against him. And, and the Philistines were coming against them. But yet, the odds were against him, but he knew was on, who was on his side. And the odds may get, be against us today. But we know who is on our side. And we have that warfare that we must wage against them. And then look at this also with me. We have a weapon to wield. Thank God that we have a weapon to wield. Now you and I all know that we have a weapon, this sword of the Lord, the sword that is the Bible. But Shamgar had this simple thing, an ox goat. Boy, something that's not very powerful when it comes against other things, but you begin to look at, well, how many Philistines did he take down? Well, the Bible tells us 600 Philistines was he able to uh, overcome with just this simple ox goat. And in the Bible, the, that word uh, or number 600 is the number of warfare. As a matter of fact, when you're looking in the book of Exodus, that's how many chariots that Pharaoh had when he came against it. Uh, as a matter of fact, the Danites that went to war later on in the book of Judges, that's 600 Danites that went to war. When we begin to look at the warfare against David and Goliath, whenever Goliath came against and they're describing Goliath, uh, it is his uh, spear that weighed 600 shekels. And further on, uh, David was able to defeat 600 Amalekites when you begin to look in 1 Samuel verse number, chapter number 30. And, and 600 is that weapon of warfare. And you say, well, what kind of weapons could we go against? Well, the Bible tells us that, as a matter of fact, during Shamgar's day, there was a, a lack of weaponry. There's a lack of ability to be able to uh, uh, make these weapons. As a matter of fact, if you look over just over one cha or two chapters in chapter number 5, verse number 8, the Bible simply says this, Then was war in the gates. Was there a shield or a spear seen among 40,000 in Israel? Oh my, that there's saying that they, they don't even have a sword. They don't even have a spear. They don't have anything to defend themselves. But yet they had God. They had Jesus Christ. They had God Almighty on their side. If you go a little further and you read into 1 Samuel chapter number 13, they said there wasn't even a smith in the land that, that could even make those weapons, that could even uh, produce those weapons. And, and they were not able, didn't have the ability they didn't have to have those weapons that everybody thought of. Why? Because God was on their side. And praise God that he is on our side as well. As a matter of fact, the Bible tells us to put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand the wiles of the devil in Ephesians 6. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Uh, we have something greater than a sword. We have something greater than a spear. We have something greater than these things. We have God Almighty on our side. As a matter of fact, this 1 Corinthians tells us then, but God has chosen the foolish things of the world to confound the wise. And God hath chosen the weak things of the world to confound the things which are mighty. I can only imagine when those Philistines saw Shamgar coming out into the field or wherever they began to wage that warfare, and they saw him with that little ox go. And they thought, I've got a spear. I've got a sword. I've got a shield. We've got this. <laughs> but they didn't know who was fighting for Shamgar. And the power that God gave to him to be able to make this wonderful victory happen. It was through him. And boy, God gives us uh, ability to be able to overcome. And I'm so thankful that I have the ability to overcome those things because greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. I'm able to overcome through the power and the might of Jesus Christ. I'm over to overcome uh, the ability to be able to overcome through the power of what the Holy Spirit of God is able to give us and thank God that the odds may be against us. But he is for us. And if he is for us, we are so thankful that we know that we have victory through Jesus Christ. Well, I hope this will be an encouragement to you. And when you think of, boy, the odds are all against me, think of Shamgar just going out with that 
ox goad against those Philistines and know that God was for him and God is for you. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. And we'll continue to pray for you and you continue to pray for the ministries here at Harvest Baptist Tabernacle and for our pastor. We appreciate you watching and being a part of it today. God bless you. And we'll come back next time and see what God can do in a moment of faith.